Yo, what is going on everyone? Dying Light here back with a quick Dying Light 2 video showing you guys one of the best ways to level up the fastest here in Dying Light. Now, as you level up throughout the game, you are going to get a bunch more abilities and it's going to be a lot easier to survive and to defeat these zombies. Now, you can earn XP just from going through the story missions. You will get a bunch of bonus XP even for activating some windmills, stuff like that. But eventually, those windmills and all those collectibles are going to run out and you're going to need a faster way to actually earn some experience here in Dying Light. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys some tips and quick tricks on how you can actually get a ton of XP pretty quickly. On top of that, you're going to get a bunch of loot, money, and things to sell. So this is a great thing to do just every now and then. Maybe if just for even 10-15 minutes, grab a bunch of materials so that you can buy some mods, stuff like that. Restock up on money and meds and also get a ton of XP out of it all at the same time. So you can do this almost anywhere. Now, I'm going to be doing it over at the bazaar. But the key thing here is that you do want to be next to a safe zone or at least somewhere next to a UV light. It's going to make things a lot easier. Now, if you go into the safe zone, like the bazaar, you can go ahead and use the bed in there or one of the beds just about anywhere and skip straight to nighttime. Now, the key thing here is that you do want to be doing this at night. As you can see there at the top right corner, you're actually going to get a XP bonus just for doing this at night. And on top of that, the longer you survive, the longer you last, the more XP bonuses you're going to get. You can even get it up to times four even. So in order to get started, what you need to do is just simply go to any bed location. You want to go ahead and wait until nighttime. Once nighttime has come, just go outside. And what you want to do is try to find yourself a specific zombie. So you want to head upstairs. This is one of the best locations I think to do it in because of the fact that there's somewhat of a safe spot. It's just really easy to kill the zombies and go right back to the UV light from here. But that's going to be just about any safe zone. So what you want to do is be on the lookout for those howlers. You probably already know what they are. They have the icon above their head of them screaming. These zombies are pretty much key to this working because they're actually going to attract a ton more zombies to you than would normally come after you. So once the chase starts, try to leave that howler alive for a little while because they will attract a ton of zombies to you. All you really have to do at this point is simply just start slaughtering all of the zombies that are going to run at you. And instead of the normal amount of XP, you're actually going to be getting double on top of the fact that there's not usually this many zombies in the same location at once. So this is the best way to, in order to actually grind this XP. All these zombies will continuously keep running at you, but the only thing is is that you do have to keep an eye on your chase level. Once you get to like level 3 or 4, you do want to try to reset it, go back into your UV light and just simply reset the chase. Anything after level 3, not to say that it's impossible, but you will get a lot stronger zombies. And if you're early on in the game, these zombies will actually be able to 1 and 2 hit you. And if you do not go back into the base safely and rest, you will not get any of the XP you earned. So you, that's the only reason why I, I say just to play it safe and try to go back into the UV light and into the safe zone once you get right around level 3 and 4. Now this is still going to give you plenty of time to rack up a ton of kills. On top of that, you're going to be able to loot all the zombies as well. Now if you want to, you can actually get up on top of this platform here, right in, on top of the metro entrance. Once you're on top of the entrance here, it's pretty nice because any zombie you kill will fall right down to the bottom of it and they're going to all be piled up in the same spot. So you're not going to have to run around trying to loot all the zombies you missed. Another thing is, is to activate your survivor sense every now and then, because if you, the body is still red, that means you haven't looted it yet. If the body's white, that means you've already looted it. Now, eventually, once you eliminate a bunch of zombies, if you don't still have the howler left, there won't really be too many zombies that keep running after you, so you will have to go out and get their attention again. But once you do, just come back up here, and it's going to act as somewhat of a safe zone, and it will also get you a ton of XP. Now, once you get to level 3, these... Bigger zombies, the ball tiles will come out, and these zombies are ones you don't really want to mess with, at least not early on in the game. It's not to say that you can't defeat them, it's not to say that they're like impossible or super super hard, but they will one or two hit you depending on what your level is, so that's just one thing to be careful about because you really want to make sure you make it back inside and use the bed, otherwise, like I said earlier, the XP just simply won't count at all. So once you start to see these bigger zombies, these are the guys right here you want to be on the lookout for, these are the ball tiles. You can kill them if you bring them into the UV light because it's a lot harder for them to attack you. But like I said, guys, they're just super, super strong, so you want to be careful with them. Another way to avoid this is just simply to let the chase end. As you can see there, the chase ended, the volatile leaves, and then you can just run right back out and start the chase all over again and just keep milking the XP. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I don't want to drag it on too long. That's pretty much one of the best methods I've found so far on how to grind the XP. The only thing to do after you have earned a decent amount of XP is to simply go into the bed. So you do want to go back to whichever safe zone you decided to do this at and just simply go to sleep. Like I said, guys, I'm right outside the bazaar. 
So you can do this at any safe zone though. It doesn't really matter which one. And on top of that, guys, you really want to make sure to loot all of those bodies because they are going to drop an insane amount of stuff. And you really do want to collect all of that so that you have the stuff to mod your weapons and repair them. Otherwise, you're going to run out of weapons. But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Just be sure not to die early. Otherwise, like I said, as you can see, you are going to lose some of that XP. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Hopefully it helps you out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.